Hi, this is Brad, and I've had a problem lately with Facebook telling me that I'm all caught up for now, and you may be having the same problem, and I knew very clearly that I wasn't all caught up for now. There was just some sort of a bug going on that was preventing me from looking at other posts within my feed from my Facebook friends, and I had contacted Facebook technical support on it, and of course they don't get back to me. I guess they're pretty busy. But I was able to finally fix it, and I wanted to tell you how I did that and, and what the problem apparently is. Now, I'm using a MacBook Air, and it's the latest version, I think. It's the M1 chip. And I'm also using Safari as the browser. Now, there's a decent chance that you're not using Safari or you're not using a MacBook. And so these instructions may not be precise for you. In fact, they may not help you at all. But it's worth a shot, and maybe some of the information that I give you will help you to diagnose the problem even if you're not using the exact same computer that I am or the same browser for that matter. So I would say uh, the first thing to understand is that the problem probably is not a Facebook issue. The problem probably is within your own computer, which means that within the cookies or the cache or somewhere deep within your memory, there's something that's creating this problem. So the way to fix it is to get rid of that. Okay, so what I would recommend that you start with is whatever browser or computer you're using to open a private window. Okay, so I'm not going to actually do that right now, but I'm just going to show you kind of how to do it. So I go to, let's say, in Safari as an example, Safari, and then File, and you see here, New Private Window. So you can do this in Chrome or just about any browser, I think. And what that's going to do, now again, I'm not going to log in, but what that's going to do is it's going to disconnect the... Um, the cookies and the cache and a lot of the crap that's in your computer from this login. Okay, so that would be step one and see if the it looks okay. Now, if you're still getting that error message that says, hey, you're all caught up for now, it may be that what I'm going to suggest to you doesn't help you. It's possible. It's still worth a shot. But if it looks okay and you go, huh, that's weird, you know, in the private window, everything looks great. In my regular window, I'm all caught up for now. Then that tells you that you need to get rid of that corrupted data that's in your system somehow. Um, now again, you know, if you're using Windows or something or Chrome or whatever combination of whatever, the process is going to be a little different than what I'm showing you, but I think you could kind of get the gist from what I'm talking about. So using my computer as an example, I would go to Safari and I would go to Preferences. And, you know, it'd probably be the same settings, preferences in Chrome, something like that. And you see there's all the different options, general, password. You will want to scroll over to Privacy. And then down to, in this case, Manage Website Data. You'd click on that. And then in the search bar for me, and you may have to just find it manually or alphabetically or whatever. Usually there's going to be two, two options. It'll be like Facebook.com, maybe Facebook.net. But anything that says Facebook, okay, and again, you're usually going to have more than one entry. I would click Remove All. Or, you know, if you're using Chrome, just delete it. I'm sure you can figure out how to do that. And it's going to ask if you're sure. You answer yes, you see it's gone now. So that has any of the cookies, cache, anything bad that's residing within my computer somewhere, that, that just disappeared. And when I log in the next time, it's going to start off fresh in, in a way that hopefully will not be corrupted. So I'm not going to log in once again, but it's pretty simple. And doing this did fix the situation with me. So hopefully, even if you don't have the same setup I have, the same computer, or probably you're not using Safari, you may be able to use this information to kind of troubleshoot. Again, step one, I would say, is try the private window and see if you still have the problem. If you do not have the problem, then that suggests that, that this may help it or some offshoot of this technique may help you getting rid of this data. If you do have the problem, it, again, it's still worth a try, but it could be something else. I don't know. Um, so hopefully you found this information to be at least a little bit useful and helpful. Um, as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments in the remarks section here on YouTube. I thank you for your time. I hope that it works for you and have a great day.